Dating back almost 140 years, Holstein Association USA has a long and storied past that's naturally led into an innovative future. That's according to expert Jeffrey Bewley. The dairy industry was big data before big data was a cool term. Everything that we've done in terms of DHI, genetic evaluations, nutritional ration balancing, et cetera, that's big data. So we've been actually a leader as a dairy industry in how to use data for decades. We're just now taking it to the next level. Bewley is an analytics and innovation scientist for Holstein Association USA and led a discussion on emerging dairy trends and technologies during the 2022 National Holstein Convention. I think that analytics or the use of data on dairy farms is the next scientific breakthrough and it is the key for moving forward and being competitive for dairy operations. We have so many sources of data at our disposal and it tell, data tells us stories that can help us better understand how to maximize the profitability and sustainability of the dairy farm. Dairy producer Mac Drees of Wisconsin agrees. We're such in a, a fortunate time, you know, in the dairy industry where there's so much data, there's so much numbers. We just have to use them. We just have to put them in the right forms. We just have to use them. He shares a real life example of how feeding and nutrition has changed since the family adopted robotic milking systems. My grandpa, when he used to farm, he used to, you know, at the end of the night, he would top dress the top cows with protein and maybe the cow that's going dry, she's not getting any protein because it's just not, you know, it's not time for her to be in, you know, peak production. So what the robots are doing, it's using that data and saying, hey, you know, you're at 25 days of milk, you're giving 150 pounds of milk. So we're going to give you, you know, more, more of a protein supplement. As technology evolves, it becomes more cost effective too. I think there's opportunities for investing in technology and new sources of data that are perhaps lower cost with high return. If we can invest $500 here, $1,000 here, $500 here, that can have a huge impact for the operation. And, and that's probably been the neatest thing to me. Even with so much data, the Holstein Association never loses sight of what's ultimately most important, the registered Holstein cow. She's what we're analyzing, and we under need to understand and recognize the individuality of that animal and appreciate how we can best care for that animal. It's a way to help that animal, but she's the center for everything that we do. For Holstein Association USA, I'm Miles Ramsey.